Keeping it with West Asia, turbulent times continue to surge in Iraq. Five people have been killed and around 52 were injured in violent clashes between protesters and the supporters of radical Iraqi Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr. The protest broke out on Wednesday in the holy city of Najaf after supporters of the Shia leader barged into the protest camps attempting to forcibly remove the protesters from the site. Moktada al sadr supporters, known as Blue Caps, hurled petrol bombs at the demonstrators and launched live gunfire at them. Violent protests had erupted a few days ago in capital Baghdad against the appointment of the new Prime Minister. Moqtada al Sadr, who had alternately switched sides between the anti government protesters and the Iran backed political groups, urged his supporters to bring back normalcy in the country. Anti government protests have erupted everywhere now. But the recent demonstrations are the largest and bloodiest since the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003. The protests started in the month of October when demonstrators thronged the streets of Baghdad to protest against the rampant corruption and economic stagnation, higher rates of unemployment and excessive foreign interference in Iraq's internal affairs. Amidst a deep political crisis, Iraq's Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi resigned from his post and the vacated post was taken over by Mohammad Tafiq Alawi. The biggest protest emerged in Baghdad's Tahrir Square, where security forces opened fire at the protesters while the demonstrators tried to cross the bridge to reach the green zone. The premise of the main government office. The political turmoil in Iraq has already claimed around 500 lives and almost 17,000 people have been injured. The United Nations has urged the government of Iraq to stop using violence against the protesters and pass electoral reforms and anti-corruption measures. Now, at least 12 Israeli soldiers got injured in a car ramming terror attack in Jerusalem. This incident uh, took place in David Ramez Street, a popular entertainment hub in Jerusalem. The Palestine Islamist group Hamas has claimed responsibility behind the attack. Hamas, which rules the Gaza Strip, has frequently instigated Palestinians living in the West Bank to revolt against the Israeli security forces. An initial investigation suggested that the car rammed the soldiers who were standing in the sidewalk next to the police station. The driver fled the scene following the attack and investigations are underway to catch hold of the culprit. The incident comes amidst heightened tensions between Israel and Palestine following U.S. President Donald Trump's newly introduced Middle East peace plan. The plan will provide greater political autonomy to Israel over Palestine in Jerusalem. 